We start pop break with some big news about the R. Kelly case. The R&B singer was sentenced to 30 years in prison for using his stardom to subject young fans to sexual abuse. He was convicted of racketeering and sex trafficking last year. Allegations of his abuse started circulating in the 90s. So 30 years for R. Kelly. Well, Kiara Cotton joins us now, and she has some other top headlines from the world of entertainment for the day today. And, Key, you're starting off with Travis Barker. There's some scary stuff happening here. That's right, Betsy. We learned late yesterday that the Blink-182 drummer had been hospitalized, and we now know the reason behind that hospitalization was pancreatitis. According to reports, the 46-year-old was taken to Cedars-Sinai Medical Center after suffering intense abdominal pain. With his wife, reality TV star Kourtney Kardashian, by his side, he underwent several tests and the diagnosis was confirmed. We're wishing him a speedy recovery. And George Clooney and Julia Roberts are back together again. The Hollywood A-listers are starring as divorced parents in the first trailer for the upcoming film, Ticket to Paradise. The rom-com follows the two as they try to convince their on-screen daughter to not marry a local man after a post-graduation trip to Bali. And even for the sake of their daughter, tensions run high between the two. Clooney and Roberts, between their two characters, Tickets to Paradise will hit theaters October 21st. And lastly, I told you guys on Monday that Cleveland Cavaliers star Kevin Love and longtime girlfriend Kate Bach tied the knot over the weekend in New York City. And we now have the pictures from their great Gatsby themed big day. For their big day, the couple wore custom Ralph Lauren ensembles. Kevin in a black and white tux and his model bride in a long sleeve lace open back gown that was inspired by Grace Kelly's wedding dress. The wedding was officiated by Love's longtime agent, Jeff Schwartz. Now, these pictures are absolutely stunning, but I guess when you combine an NBA player and a supermodel, it's kind of hard for them not to look good. But in all seriousness, they look so happy and were surrounded by so much love from their close family and friends. It, I mean, stunning couple, obviously. Well, like they're, they're all American couple. But Jay, you actually voiced the question that everyone was asking. <laughs> How does she look so tall standing next to Kevin? He's 6'11". He's huge. There's no way she's 6'9". And Beth said that, <laughs> Key, that she was probably standing on a box, yes. that, which is probably why she has such a long train, so she could hide the box in the photos. Yeah, it's all for the photo ops. So I'm sure there was high heels, a box, the whole nine. Whatever it takes, yeah. right? <laughs> Well, we know Monica has a couple different boxes that we've used in here, so I'm sure she could, could probably, you know, lend her one if we need one here. That's, it's a, what a beautiful couple, though. Keith, thank you. Sure thing.